Hey, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Mina Slay, best friend. I'm sure y'all was not expecting to see me back so soon. I had just did this birthday hair, birthday slay for my 40th birthday. This was the Amazon hair that I ordered. Uh, this was the Charisma hair off of Amazon that I ordered a few weeks ago, and it was for my birthday that I did an install video on yesterday. I posted it to my channel on yesterday. I am back, not only to review the hair, but I'm back because tomorrow I have to go back to work. And I cannot wear all of this blonde hair. I mean, I could, but I don't want to wear all this blonde hair to work. I mean, it's heavy, it's 180 density hair. This is a synthetic unit. So I am really contemplating cutting this hair. I know probably a lot of y'all are like, no, don't do it, it looks so good. But I work around machinery, I work in a plant type setting, and this hair will get caught in a machine or something if I work this long to work. So I'm stuck between the rock and a hard place. It's like I want to keep it long and just straighten it with my flat iron and straighten the curl out to make it not look so glam going to work. But then again, I also want to cut it into maybe like an asymmetrical type bob keeping it longer here in the front, but shortening up the back. Now this is a 22 inch, it looks more like a 24, 26 possibly inch, because my butt is here and it's like right on top of my butt. So the, and I'm 5'9", I'm pretty tall. So you can imagine on some of you 5'5", five 5'2", five women out there, this wig is gonna be like probably below your butt. So this is definitely not a everyday wig, it's not a work through the week type of wig either so i am really thinking about cutting it and so today i came to cut this wig <laughs> i mean i might leave it curly depending on how the style looks once i'm finished uh you know cutting the hair but if it doesn't look right curly short then i do have my flat irons right here that i'm going to be using to flat iron this hair and these are the hot beauty one inch and it comes with a bonus curling iron that's only a half an inch. So it comes two in a pack. That is from my local beauty supply store. So I mean I have my scissors on hand. I'm going to part um, some of the hair out that I want to leave longer towards the front of my face. So I'm just dragging and following the hair or the parting down right to like the back of my ear. separating the hair right where the ear is at on both sides it's gonna start down and just separate the hair right before my ear okay now with this whole back I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail and this hair the con about this hair I said in my video I posted yesterday y'all go check that video out and just click on my birthday, uh, 40th birthday slay, Amazon, featuring the Charisma uh, lace front wig. So y'all go on there, check that out. See how I initially installed this wig. But like I said, getting back to the cons on this hair. The hair is long and synthetic, so it tangles. I ain't gonna say like crazy, because it's only day two of me wearing it. But I could tell after a while this hair is going to be a matted, hot wreck. <laughs> so let me just put this hair in the back. And a ponytail, because this is what I'm going to use to basically um, cut, start the bob formation. So I'm going to see if I can put this hair in a ponytail. I have two rubber bands that I'm going to use. And I want to kind of leave the base of the bob probably about right here. I want it to hit my hit the back of my neck. That has to cover up some of the BBs. <laughs> I don't want my BB showing. But look at that rubber band popped already. Look at that just popped. So now I only got a one. I gotta go back in my bag and get another rubber band. Take out a couple in case another one pops. And it's best for me to actually do this with the unit off my head and onto a mannequin head, but I have it 
bonded down to my forehead and I didn't feel like ripping it up. So I said I'm gonna try my best to do it. Put it on my head. So y'all pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. And this is my first time actually doing this on camera. Because normally when I want to transform my wigs, I just do it off camera. So I have my mirror here. Let me turn around towards my bathroom mirror and see if this is actually where I want it. I want it to hit. I want to cut it. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, just put it in the ponytail. Put it in the bun. Just wrap it up. Mm, nah, because I'm not a girl who likes to go out with uh, scarves and bonnets and stuff like that on my head. I think that is like so ratchet. I mean, I'm entitled to my own opinion. That is just my opinion. Y'all do what y'all want to do. But for me, I don't, I don't do bonnets. So I'm going to try to take these and cut, 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 cut. I'm trying to figure out which, which is a good angle for me to cut it at. I know I want to keep it centered here, but I want to actually go cut going up the ponytail. But because it's so difficult for me to position these scissors going up, I guess I have to turn the scissors upside down so they'll be actually facing up when I put them behind me. And I'm going right in front of the rubber band, which y'all can see right there. I'm going in front of it. stationary as I can on the back of my neck and I'm gonna start cutting. Very false and very funny. And so I cut it. this hair y'all do you see this it's still in the rubber band and so you know my foundation for my bob it has been set so i'm going to create some more layers i see a couple pieces like this one that still needs to be cut i'll just take my scissors go right in cut that little piece off I need a thumbnail. I'm gonna need a thumbnail. <laughs> One of them gonna be on here. But there you have it. That this is probably about a good 20 inches that I just cut off here, maybe 18. But that was just doing too much for me to wear that to work. So I can't I can't wear that to work like that. Some of you girls can, but this girl is like. Don't worry about the 
these pieces that's all blunt and everything. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna fix those up for you. But I just want to make sure the bob here is at the right angle. hair color hair cutter you know I'm not a professional salon stylist or anything like that it's just you know talent and I have an eye for hair and I can actually just visually see how the hair is supposed to look and what angle you're supposed to cut the hair at so thank God for giving me a talent such as that so like the way this is looking. I'm going to put this back behind my ear to give me that, you know, after way type feel. And let me let you guys see how it's starting to look. I still use a little bit of tweaking, but as of longer than this side. That's how I like it. So 
So when I put my hair behind my ear or whatever, you know, right here, I like for my bobs to look feathery. You know, give you that feather look like that. Now if you want any more feathers or want some more body to the hair, you can actually take your curling irons, heat them up, and you know, bend it outwards. The hair to have to take shape. Now that I have the actual base of the hair and how long I want my bob to be, I'm going to go back in and start creating some more layers within the top sections. here when I get to the very front part section of my uh, hair I'm separating it from the longer piece that I want to lay on my shirt and I'm going to pull this piece out and what I'm going to do instead of cutting down I'm going to cut starting in front of the hair this way and drag the scissors back because I want that feathered effect when I drop the scissors and drop the hair, I want it to be layered right up in here. So I'm gonna hold it, and where I want it to start at is like right here, the corner of my eye. So that's where I'm gonna start the scissors at. And I'm gonna take it back, cutting the hair backwards, but I'm still creating longer lengths back. And this is all the hair that I have to take off to do that. So when you do this here, and you do that, feathered effect you see this is your feather this is what you want right there in your eye see that still kind of long I like this piece here uh, I like the where it's hitting at but this piece is right up in here I need to be cut shorter so what I'm gonna do is take one of those pieces again right where it fell out at here I need to Hit those scissors right there and drag the hair backwards. Drag it back until all the hair disappears off the scissors. And that's that longer piece that I didn't want. There it goes, it's gone. So now when I do this, that's what I want my hair to do. I love my hump. <laughs> I love my hump. face but you know what it I'm cute girl okay and so this is basically the finish look I'm gonna um, put some foundation in my part to define my part in the first initial video yesterday that I posted my video I had a middle part and so my hair was down the middle part this time I'm going for a sassy shorter part and you know what, before I do that, I'm actually going to flat iron this part over just a little bit because I like to create more definition in my hump because it's kind of like going back and falling like lazy. <laughs> but I want it to actually sit up like this. So I'm going to have to flat iron that uh, piece forward. If you have curling irons, that's even better. Instead of a flat iron, you can hit it with like a curling iron or a uh, one of them hot combs. You can press, press it, you know, forward just to give you that extra hump. But I'm, I'm feeling it. I love it. I think it looks really good. I think it turned out really great. You know, a little side piece, a little side burn. I like the little white girl side burn piece. This is just out. You don't have to wear it behind your ear if you don't want to. You can just wear it out and down. But to give me a more sassy little flavor, I like to wear that behind my ear like that. And then I love the ombre effect that gives me to the side of my hair. You know, I just like to, you know, press those little shorter pieces to give it that feathery look on this side as well. But yeah, this is actually the gist of the haircut. Let me turn around so y'all can see 
how the hair is actually looking. Oh, it still has body and bounce to the hair. I didn't butcher it, you know. It still looks pretty good to me. A little long piece, which I love. The color is cool because your girl don't wear a color this often, especially 26 inches down my back. It just looked too fake and funny to me. So, I just wasn't feeling that whole look, so. You know, it served its purpose for my birthday, but not that my birthday was yesterday. It's a new day. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug up these curling irons. Once they get hot, I'm gonna come back before my camera runs out and we're gonna press this side up, put some concealer in the part, put some more powder around my baby hairs, and top this look off. Y'all stay tuned, I will be right back in one moment. short tutorial thumbs it up spread the word pass on this channel my name so somebody else could become a new subscriber to the Mina best friend channel thank you to all my best friends out there thank you for joining me watch comment like subscribe do your thing and all of that and I will see you guys in the next tutorial Thank you.